Welcome to the YouTube interviews, the COVID-19 and how it has affected the arts and beyond. Today, we have a very special guest. And before I start, I, I want to preface that this experience of interviews have been amazing. I've been talking to people from all over the world and have realized that our world is this big pot. We're not separated. We are one big community. And this is the perfect example of that. Today's guest, she owns the Bridget Gauchi Borda Studios in Slima, Malta. Bridget, hello, hello how are you Brian. doing? How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yes, yeah, so just to let share everybody, I am in Akron, Ohio, and then you're in Slima, Malta. We're oh, about seven right. hours behind you. So you're about noon, about 6, uh, 6 a.m., six hours behind, six hours. Um, so, you know, I wanted to talk to you about, uh, first of all, your studio. How many kids do you have? Um, you have, looks like you have about 13 staff or so, 13, That's 12, 13, right. yes. 13 staff. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I want to share something that's on your site. This is something okay. that I haven't done that I want everybody to see and read because this impacted me as soon as I saw it. So, um, this is the first thing I saw when I opened up your studio. We welcome everyone who is willing to open one's heart to dance. Yes, this was. Um, this photo is um, a production of Swan Lake, which I had staged um, 10 years ago, because my school has been established for 30 years now. And this was the 20th anniversary um, performance of Swan Lake um, at the Mediterranean Conference Center, Valletta, Malta. Valletta is the capital city of Malta, by the way. Okay, excellent. So tell me more about your studio. Tell me more about your kids and how many kids do you have? And, and did you have some things planned for this spring? Yes, lots of things planned. So basically, um, I have 300 students, approximately 300 students from the ages of um, two. Because uh, we have these um, parents and, and baby ballet um, classes, which we started a year ago and they're, they're really popular so from ages two up to adults university students um, adults who want to you know start uh, ballet it's very popular with with adult um, um, people adult students so the ages vary from very very young ones up to adults yes. Did you have some performances coming? Did you have some shows coming up that you were I, planning? Um, on? Yeah, I had that. Um, luckily, I had my 30th anniversary performance in December before all this. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's amazing. 30 and years. Okay, excellent. Yes. So I staged Cinderella, the full mm. length style of Cinderella, which was very beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we were very busy in the first term, you know, it's very exciting um, when you're preparing for a performance, yes. you know, the atmosphere and, you know, the, the whole um, um, buzz in the, in, the, in the studio and the school, the excitement of the kids and costume trials and so on. <laughs> so that was our first term, nice. um, had Christmas holidays, came back in January, February and unfortunately on the 13th of March, we had to close all the schools on the island as per, you know, government um, directives. How, how um, I want to get into more about what your studio is doing, but at that moment when that happened, walk us through what you went through. Well, I couldn't believe what was happening. And to be honest, um, it made me realize how serious this virus is. But I thought, oh my goodness, it's, we're, it's three weeks before we break up for Easter. What a shame we didn't make it, you know? What a shame, you know, we didn't have to close later. But it was just three weeks into the, before the Easter holidays. And I thought, okay, we'll be back um, after Easter. So I thought it's going to be, a, you know, five weeks maximum. I said, we'll definitely be back after Easter. 
but unfortunately we're not. So the first week, um, to be honest with you, okay, we had to inform everyone that we were shutting because um, this was, you know, um, what we were instructed to do. And um, so the first week was quite um, interesting in the sense that my life really slowed down. Um, you know, usually I'm rushing and, and it's always a fight against time. And my mornings are free, but, you know, free from the school, but I have lots of other things to do, answering emails, it, it's, a, you know, and even paperwork, so on and so forth, and other personal stuff. So suddenly, didn't have to go to the school every day to teach or to administer or to be there as the head. Um, you know, your life just slows down. That was the first week. So it was quite, um, you know, it was okay. Um, yes. Second week, third week, then it became very um, worrying and, you know, very frustrating. Um, so you're I started to miss my students yeah. and the school terribly, you know. Well, I can. For all, for you have, you've been there for thirty years, and you one day you can't see them. It's like a exactly. like it's like a big just like kaboom, just stop. Exactly, and these are kids, you know. Mm -hmm. I see twice a week, sometimes some three, four times a week, mm -hmm. throughout basically the whole year, you know. And I've been seeing them since they were young kids. Correct. So it's you know a piece cut out of your life it's 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 just crazy you know you, you i'm so used to and you take it so for granted that you're seeing them yes. <laughs> yes. part of the family and now you can't see them anymore so have you now here we are almost a month and a half or whatever it's been almost a month here yeah. have you created some i saw some some video of you, some of the kids doing some dance or some pilates how have you made that adjustment with your school so, as I said, I thought we were coming back, you know, after Easter. Mm -hmm. So the first week we didn't do anything. So then when it went into the second week, I started sending them programs, you know, stretch and core programs, um, progressive ballet technique programs. I gave them a program. I had to create um, different programs for different levels um, for them to do. I, I created a 12 minute um, program. And I said, you've got to do this every day. Then after that um, came, you know, a lot of people were live streaming, open classes. I have friends, you know, who have, um, who are in professional dance companies um, all over the world who got in touch with, with me because they come over as guests like Kim. Kim is one of the patrons and, and you know, a guest teacher at, at my school. She's, she's brilliant with the, mm -hmm. with the kids. And um, a lot got in touch with me to say, to tell me when they were streaming live. Some have an actual timetable. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, lots of directors from big um, companies all over the world started um, giving classes, not necessarily live. Even if they give live classes, you can do them in your own time. Yes. So I gave all my students, especially the, the senior students who have to keep up their training. Mm -hmm. Every day I send them a link to a class, gave them the lifetime table of these um, live classes. And with the young ones, I also was in touch with, you know, um, people from the UK who were giving, you know, live um, classes. And I send them lots of, you know, other useful information besides their program now that we're not going in after mm. easter for the third term yes. um, the students are missing the, the the teachers and we're missing them so now i'm looking into um starting to give them you know some classes via zoom yes. um yes. but what we're doing first before we take this step um is filming um, all the teachers have the, the keys to my studio, so um, I've told them, please go in, record yourself um, teaching the syllabus classes, because our kids in Malta, we prepare them for yearly examinations, 
they do the Cecchetti ballet examinations. And um, they were, we were preparing them for their exam, which was going to be held in June. Obviously, exams have been cancelled. So we want them to um, carry on with their training, not to miss out on, on a year. So basically, the teachers are going in to film the level of the classes they actually teach. They're speaking to the students, you know, explaining the exercises, going over the exercises that they've already taught and teaching them the new exercises. So we are going to, I'm going to send when they're all ready, I'm going to send the links. So each student will have her syllabus class to practice, plus all the other programs that I have given them. So if they follow this, and this is where I told the parents I need their input, mm -hmm. then they should be um, okay to go up to the next level because there were two options, either to make them repeat the year, which I wasn't happy about, mm -hmm. because when they hopefully come back in October, um, they'll be a year older, right? Um, but they can't progress to the next level if they have a chunk missing. Um, so that was one option. The other option was to send them the material for them to continue practicing at home, mm -hmm. um, doing the programs, and so when they come in in October, but we are starting three weeks earlier to make up for the three weeks they lost yes. Yes. when we closed, we're going to assess them and we're going to see if they know the work, and if they're strong enough to go up to the next level. So this will, at least they have a mission and a target. Mm. Otherwise, you know, you yes. know, some students are lazy. The parents will say, oh, it doesn't matter. You don't have to practice if you don't. Like, they're not going to be just promoted. As you, they have to work hard for it too. So I think that will work with the kids. Um, with the seniors, we, we probably have to give some classes via Zoom. But this is something, this is the first step. We're going to send them the syllabus. We're also going to monitor them and keep in touch. But this is a work in progress. You know, this is something new to everybody. Yes, um, it is. I know a lot of um, people are giving classes on Zoom, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, uh, there's this Russian dance school that um, approached me and wants me to give a class to the students. And I willingly accepted. Another friend of mine who's doing live um, classes online asked me to come on board but to be honest I don't really want to be tied down to giving mm -hmm. three classes a week you know it's uh. quite a lot of work I will give the, the one off um, because I don't believe it's the same one you can't really correct and see what your students are doing um, they don't have the space they don't have the, the sprung flooring there's no mirrors there's no bars they're very limited it's true we have to make the best of our situation, but it's definitely not the same. I would concur with everything you said. And it's been challenging because as a director of a school here in Wooster, and I, it's a joy, first of all, to see him, to see yeah. the kids. Yeah. It, just, it just is, you know, I miss him quite a bit. Um, and we just had a, a class yesterday and so I'll give the combination. You got to do it with them because they the music the music doesn't go through the same. So musicality, uh -huh. you have to come. My mind has to shift the way I think about that because they're not going to do it the same time as me. That's number okay. one. Okay. So so there's a bit of a, a delay. delay. I wouldn't oh, even I don't don't even think about the musicality oh, <laughs> you, I see. That's because good. you're gonna you kind of go because you know I'm get music music but. You're watching him. I'm doing my tondu half a second later. They're doing it. Okay. Okay. And so what I do now, uh, I've started doing, I'll give the combination. I'll start, I'll continue to say it. And I'll look in like this. Hey, um, you over there, you know, I'll say the name, I'll point your yeah. feet and I'll say, Hey, well, I have one of the kids do the combination alone, do okay. a step, that kind of thing. So it becomes a teaching tool, mm -hmm. but, but the thing is, and maybe you can maybe expand on this a little bit too, is they have to take the responsibility. I said to them, 
I can't tell you if you can't tell if you're not pointing your feet. But you exactly. need to take the responsibility to point your feet. I can't exactly. tell you, you know. So, I mean, is it's something that it's an adjustment as a teacher, mm -hmm. and that just validates your point. It's hard to not be able to see the kids. It's very difficult, but. I do think, um, as an instructor and, and, and as who we are is, um, that we can, we, we encourage these kids to, you just create this, you're creating this, this program, you're giving options because every, everybody's going to feel a little different about it, right? You have to, you have to be able to give options because do you see all these kids in one box or do you say, well, maybe I can give zoom. Some kids can do that, but then I have this over here. Some kids will respond to this better. So how do you see your kids? I mean, is this something that is all exploratory? You know, um, it's hard, isn't it? It's difficult to make some of the decisions. It's hard, but you know, last time I was thinking um, something good always comes out of um, any experience. And I was thinking, oh, this is great. In the future, um, you know, when a student is in, mm. she can actually be present in the studio via Zoom or whatever. It's you true. Know, media. And she can, she or he can watch the class. Okay, can't actually do it, but we won't be really missing out, you know? So yes, that's a good point. Be, that's a good no, point. Yes, that's actually, that's interesting. And the other thing, Bridget, is that you're creating a curriculum via this area so that when you go back in the studio, that doesn't go away. Exactly. Nothing, correct? And then you uh -huh. can say to your kids, your instructors created the curriculum on the studio on this day it's there so when you're homesick or over the weekend or whatever it is by the way watch it do it while you're there maybe you do the arms or do the positions that you exactly. it's kind of interesting isn't it yeah yeah so looking at more of the positive you know um i think so here we are um in the midst of it now and and do this will this affect how you look at your program in the future here so it will affect will you be looking at like what are you going to be doing in the spring in the nutcracker how is that how are you going to guide your studio how do you think you're going to guide or do you even know yet well the plan is to to carry on from where we left off but as i said obviously the students and the parents have to put in their do their part um, in fact, um, yesterday, and I, um, I'm going to do it a group at a time, a class at a time, I wrote to one of the groups, I started from the young ones, from the grade ones, not the very young ones, but, and I said, look, it will perhaps be a very good idea for parents to, to get kids, or, or they can do it themselves, you know, the parents can help them, get a diary, a notebook, a copybook, to log down the date, the day, the time, the duration, and what type of exercise or class they did on that day. So it's my 12 minute program. They write down, they've done that on that day. The next day, let's say I followed an open class, a live open class by, for example, Miss Kim White. And the next day I followed Miss Bridget's syllabus class, you know, and in the end, um, perhaps we will um, add up all the, the hours of their training mm. and maybe there could be a little competition to see who, you know. That's a great <laughs> idea. Can I use that? I'm going to use that. Definitely, definitely. I'm going to totally use that, Bridget. That's a great idea. I mean, <laughs> it just gets them more, because um, uh, that's it gets them involved, you know. Uh, I lo I love it motivates that. them, you know. It motivates, yes. Have a go. And I said they can decorate these these copy books with ballerina <laughs> stickers or drawings. Or <laughs> it's a great, it's a great idea. Yeah, it becomes a like idea. a scrapbook, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna actually use that today. So, I just want to finish off. Um, talk to me about how you are doing. Well, um, there are. I have my good days and bad days, you know, it's totally disrupting because, um, you know, I'm used to routine. Like I said, the first week was quite a break because it was like a rest from the you know, fight against time and rushing from place to place. And I'm so active and I can hardly cope 
which I need more time. I need more than 24 hours in, a, in my day. So, but now it's, there's, there's always something to do, always something to do. It's amazing how there's something to do because these few weeks were taken up by myself preparing all these programs, editing them, so on and so forth, sending emails, keeping in touch with parents. Um, so there's always something to do. But I miss the studio and it makes you realize, you know, how great it is to be around these wonderful kids. Um, so I have my good days and bad days. You know, there are days you don't feel like doing anything. Yes. And, are, you know, and you it's okay. And it's okay. That's right. It's okay, though. You know, it's interesting, Bridget. Mm. It's okay to feel that. And it's okay to not do it. Even yeah. though we're so used to doing. Yeah, I suppose. So if there's a day I'm lazy, I don't feel like doing anything, I have so much to do. Then the next day I make sure, you know. Yes. I'm, I'm trying as well. Well, um, I'm making it a point to exercise myself 30 mm. minutes a day. Good, good. Whether good. it's aerobic, whether it's a ballet bar, um, I have to do it um, 30 minutes a day. So. Well, you know, I'm gonna two things. I'm gonna do. First of all, I'm gonna say thank you very, very much. This my relation, pleasure. this is very great pleasure. Um, just to let everybody know that my my old teacher, Miss Nan Klinger, one of her daughters. Kim White, which is a Kim Klinger, is friends with Bridget, and that's mm -hmm. how we connected. So that even tells me that this world is even, it's not small. I'm not saying this world's small, but we are completely connected. Yeah. And this is what this whole thing is about. So um, thank you very much. But I want to kind of close off by this, how we began today. I want to okay. share, I want to share this again. And I, this is, this is, be, this is from, this is from Bridget's Gauchi Bordas Studio, and we welcome everyone who is willing to open one's heart to dance. Bridget, thank you very, very much for taking your time today and doing this for us today. Thank you, Brian. It was a pleasure. Pleasure. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely uh -huh. talk soon. We revisit this again. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Have yes. a good day. Bye-bye.